Hello everyone. This video is about a food which no one uses in current RS, but is actually quite good in the EOC, or at least in the beta version. It may change before it's actually released. But the food is four dose uh, flasks of ale, with uh, higher level ones being better, so that uh, four dose Slayer respites are the best. And it heals 1,180 life points per dose, and it's a four dose thing, so it's quite a lot. So in this video I'm going to show first off how to make them and then a little bit of them in the EOC. So what you'll need to make them is an empty pot. You can have the stuff if you want, it's a reward from Trouble Brewing which makes the item or which makes the brews more likely to be mature, which actually isn't at all helpful for this because it doesn't make them heal more. Um, and then you'll need barley malt, which you can get by growing barley and roasting it on a range or just buying on the GE. And then wild blood hops if you're making slayer respites as a secondary ingredient which you can also farm or just buy in the G, they're like 30 GP each. And then you'll need a couple buckets of water, two per thing that you're brewing. There are two different breweries, so you'll pretty much need to double those supplies. So the first one here is in Caldegrim, and it's just right above the bar. So yeah, first step, you just add buckets of water to the thing. The animations are a bit slow. Um, so after the water, you add the barley malt, then you add the stuff if you have it. Again, it's not required at all. And actually, it's probably not even worthwhile because it actually makes the negative skill effects um, more negative, which is bad, as I'll mention later. <laughs> um, so you add the secondary ingredient, and then you have to talk to the person there, and you buy uh, ale yeast, and this will allow the ale to ferment. And uh, it costs 25 GP at this guy in Keldegrim, and it costs 5 Ecta tokens at the one in Port Phasmatis. So you may want to just buy two of them here, or use the one and then refill the bucket, uh, or sorry, the pot. Um, and then the ale, once you put it in the thing and let it ferment, it'll take usually three to five days to ferment. There are some exceptions, it's a bit random sometimes, but it takes quite a while. So once it's done fermenting, as you can see here, this is the uh, the port phasmatis one. You click on the turn valve, and then you that makes the ale go into the barrel, and then you just use your cow clock kegs on the barrel, and it'll fill them up. Alternatively, you could use eight beer glasses on the buck on the barrel, and it'll fill all of those up. But since we want more uh, concentrated food, it's better to just put them in the cow clock flasks or cow clock kegs rather, and. Uh, yeah, fill those up. So that's really all about how to make them. I don't think there is anything else. So now on to the beta. So uh, I'm here just uh, a little bit southeast of Castle Wars, and as you can see, the Chef's Delight heals 1080, and the Green Menzel heals 580. It goes up by 100 life points per tier of stuff. So the highest one is Slayer Respite at 59 cooking, which heals 1180. So the 4-dose keg of Slay Respite, that's 4,720 life points in one inventory slot, which is over 2.5 times the amount that a rock tail will heal for the same slot. So that's, yeah, that's quite a lot. Um, and also one other really great advantage to them, as you can see here, when you heal up using normal food, like rock tails, it drains your adrenaline bar. But when you drink potions, it doesn't drain your adrenaline bar. And Chef's Delight and the other the other uh, ales, they count as potions. So as you can see, I just drank two doses there in one animation, and it did not drain my adrenaline bar, which is really great. The issue, I'd say, is that there is that um, the animation, which is not going to be good for PvP combat, but it won't matter for PvM. The healing will probably be worthwhile. And then the other disadvantage is that it lowers your attack and strength levels. If you use the uh, normal ale, it drains your attack and strength by two levels, and if you use mature, it drains by three, so that's why you'd probably want to use normal rather than mature. But yeah, that's really it for this video. Just a little shout out to M R N M M M. Sorry, M R N M M N M R N R N N for telling me about this. Uh, so thanks for that, and. Uh, that's it. So thanks for watching. We'll see if this actually gets adjusted for the EOC. It does seem a little bit overpowered to have such a low level food heal that much. But then again, three to five days to make two, well, four if you use both breweries, 
3 to 5 days to make 4 flasks is not much at all, so it may just be a way to get people back into brewing, which would be cool since it's a bit abandoned at the moment. So that's it, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed.